Hello everybody, my name is Mathis, and welcome back to the wonderful Wubulus Project Zomboid. Oh boy, last episode was an interesting one, was it not? <laughs> it was, uh, well we went for a joyride, uh, in our, for the first time in a car, and hot diggity dang, was that a freaking mess. Um, that car makes, cars make a lot of noise, to the point where they're almost valueless. Um, at least right now, okay. Ex ex excuse me? What? Hello? There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. Uh Okay. Th that Thanks for the key. Um that, huh. Okay, that screams the game is now spawning. That tells me right there. You know how before I was like, I don't know if the game's spawning zombies or if the, that pod was just kind of there before. No, that tells me the game is like actually spawning zombies if I go away. So the, the, and I know I'm on, um, you will back up your save, like kind of branch and all that stuff, but can I just say, um, like I, I was under the impression I was, I was pretty sure the game has worked and does work in the, in a way where, uh, if you've like started boarding up the house and like clearly giving it signs that it is your safe house, that zombies won't spawn at least in the house itself. Uh, I consider the roof, the house, but okay, sure game, sure whatever you say, okay. So what is our goal for today, other than clearly cleaning out zombies on our backyard? Um, this is on our back, is it not? Yeah. So let's go ahead and put this in our secondary. And we'll go ahead and put this in our primary. Perfect. Um, I think today I'd like to try and forage and maybe get some... If possible, get some... Um, an axe up and running, if I can. That would be ideal. I'm also going to do a little bit of farming, I think. I do have a trowel, so let's go ahead and we're going to get a little bit of farming going. Especially since we still have water running and power and all this other stuff. So, uh, we're going to be working on that as well. So, let's start digging away. Oops. Dig. Okay. Was that a zombie or was that me digging? Okay, that's me digging. It's just a, it makes, there's like a weird noise that gets made. For some reason. Alright, well we're just gonna make a row. Okay. Perfect. And then we're gonna start sowing some seeds. Um, we only have right now, uh, we, well we only took out rather. All, uh, our cabbage seeds. So we have a hundred cabbage seeds, and we're gonna go ahead and sow just cabbage, 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 cabbage. Because cabbage, if I remember correctly, have the highest or like the most open like growing cycle for seasons. I think. I also don't know if walking on them matters much. Hopefully it'll rain soon, so I don't have to do too much watering. And we don't have. Well, we actually might have a watering can in the drawer somewhere. Because if we take a look at, can I get some info on this? Info. It's healthy, but they're parched, so we're gonna have to start watering. Okay. They're thirsty now? And I have no water. All right. Well, let's go get our water. Without, um, Without a watering can, we actually are very, very ineffective when it comes to watering. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. I kind of wish that that uh, kettle was made. It made us a little bit more effective. Maybe it does, but I, I highly doubt it. So let's go ahead and grab that. And if it decides to rain soon, I won't. I won't complain. That's for sure. All right, water full. Let's take a look. They're still thirsty. Water, full 40. 
Well watered. Okay. Water full 30. Water full 45. I don't know what the numbers mean. They're fine. I'm actually just going to water them to, to, to fine. Full 60. Well watered. Or, you know, if, if, if well watered ends up being... Uh, what we actually hitting end up hitting that's fine as well. All right Let's go ahead and grab some more. This is why I do it now even if we're being ineffective Because we can we can uh, afford to just fill up water consistently The problem will become when we are uh, When the water gets turned off and we need to start catching rainwater and the like that's when we're going to have problems. Okay, well watered. Good. Fine. Good and water up. Ah, the the everyday the, the life of an everyday farmer here in a uh, Zomboid town. Done. How many more do we have? I think we still have to water this one as well. They're fine. Are we out of water? We're out of water. Good times. This is why you want a watering can and why we need to go into town at some point. Um, just to maybe go into a market or something that has it. That is a very satisfying sound, though, I have to admit. Okay, perfect. Green Thumb Mathis, here we go. Uh, these guys need some water. Good stuff. Just gonna keep the info open on them until, uh... Until I, I have them at a point where I want them. Was this it? Yeah, this is the one. 60 might be like how many... I don't know what that what it means, actually. Okay, we're good. That's everything. So let's... While those are watered, let's go ahead and fill up our water one more time. Since we did just kind of use a ton of it. That was so weird, man. I'm still kind of stuck on the zombies on the second floor knocking on our window. Two of them. Like, there's no way they climbed up there. That's just not possible. Freaking game, man. I'm telling you. All right. Um, Kettle of water. We have a bunch of worms, by the way, which we can store in the fridge. Go ahead and get frozen, son. All right. Let's go ahead and grab a kitchen knife. Equip is our primary. And we're going to go, I'd like to see if we can get some, uh, like I said, some searching going. Some foraging, if possible. Um, but, unlikely. Uh, I also want to see if we can get an axe. Well, the reason I want to forge, by the way, is because I'd love to build an axe. Uh, something I can start chopping down trees with and, and, and stuff. So I can actually start, like, building an outpost. Need a banana. All right, but let's let's start walking out. We now know we kind of went for a little bit of a joyride, which was nice, and we now have like at least a, a semi direction we can start walking. What is that? Uh, at least a semi direction we can start walking and exploring, and hopefully we pulled the zombies far enough away from those areas where we can actually make do, and do some good stuff. So I'm into it. Let's do it. Hello. Yeah, there's one on the inside, which is why she's banging, because there's somebody on the inside banging. There's a, lot, there's a few of them, actually. You can hear them all. So I'm just going to leave them alone. Is she alive on the ground? No, she is not. She is dead. Um, If we can... Uh, you know what? Instead of using our knife, which I kind of find is a really just valuable weapon in general, if we can start... 
pushing them down and just stomping on them. I'd much prefer to do that. These two don't seem to care. Okay, now they care. Push you into the ground. Whenever there's one left, I really should get into the habit of just stomping on them and ignoring uh, ignoring them otherwise. Really want to check that right there. This house has indications that maybe, just maybe, they have some good stuff. Construction-wise, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. There's a nice little pod of zombies there just hanging out. Let's ignore them for now. I don't think this can have an alarm, like a shed can have an alarm, but I want to get in here because I want to see if I can get regular tire type sport. Oh, like a spare tire. That's cool. Engineer magazine. All right, let's get out. Man, they are all wandering around like crazy right now. Down you go. Or not. There's at least three of you. Back up. Do a little sprinting just to put some space between me and him. He's going to climb a fence. Hmm. You know, for how much noise my car made and how much I thought I put some distance between me and zombies and, like, drew them away. It's not as much as I would have would have liked. I'm also afraid that I've left, I've, I've put so much distance between me and my house that the, uh, that there's going to be zombies there when I get back. We kind of have to head into town, at least a little bit. My character's sweating. I'm actually going to go ahead and take off his shirt. Soccer field. Like, I recognize these areas. Soccer field and such. Because, I, I I mean, these are all part of the game for a long time. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, I just don't remember details as to where I am. We're going to cut through these trees. And the reason I want to do that is I want to cut the vision between me and that initial horde that was following me. Chances are they're going to end up getting stuck, causing their own noise, and probably just getting lost in this forest here. Just want to be careful. And again, no no issues just cutting through areas where there are trees. I'm not going to be the key collector, man. Keys for days. And if they, uh, I get to a car, maybe I'll get lucky enough where I have a key for that car specifically. And my character just knows where which one it is. Okay. <whistles> Shit. That's some bad luck. That is some bad luck. Um, this place is going to be a no-go for a while. Damn, man. So this is the hotel. I've actually boarded up in that hotel plenty of times and made that hotel a safe house before. Really fun. Really fun, fun little project I had given myself at that point. I want to go over here, maybe. See what's in here. Cut through, cut through, cut through. Nasco, Ringo D. Ah, yes. I know those names well. Oh, shit. Back up. Back up. Back up. So many of them. Zigzag, cut across. I know I'm running. Which is obviously a problem. You don't want to run. Trying to get a kill off there. Um, for obvious reasons, you don't want to run. But right now, I kind of feel like I need to just put some distance. Look at them all. Holy shit. It's like, where do I go? What's the lesser evil here? I think this is the lesser evil. 
with still so many just piling in that damn alarm, man. I just, man, I just wanted to do some city exploring. Okay, we're by the church. Is this really what this episode's devolved into? Okay, Mathis, what are you going to do in this situation? How are you going to get out of here? Well, it's actually not as bad as it looks. Like, it's it's obviously limited where we can move and in the areas we can explore uh, temporarily. If we can make our way back home, at the very least, or to a place we can sleep, we can probably avoid getting murdered. Uh, pretty easily, actually. Um, we've kind of got away from where the majority of the horde is, and the horde obviously was moving towards that alarm, so in actuality, it did end up likely freeing up a big area of town uh, that where the other the, where the horde ended up going because of the car and all that other stuff. So that's good. Could have sworn there was a zombie that was in there. Just gonna take out a zombie here. The question is, do I want to walk all the way back home? Well, all the way back home is a relative term. It's not that far. I was really, really, really hoping, though, yeah, we're almost there, uh, that we were going to be able to get a little lucky and uh, maybe loot an area out. I've been here, I think. I was here for at least one of my lives in this area. And uh, it being looted as it is. Indicates to me that, yeah, we've been here. Alright, well, now the question is... We're, our character's tired, so it's not really a question. But now the, the other question is... <laughs> are there zombies that spawned in my house? <laughs> can't see up there. This might just be because it can't be seen. You son of a bitch. Oh! No! No! What the hell, man? Yeah, they're spawning. There's no question. Painkillers is great. Uh, let's take a quick look at our health. Yeah, we're good. We didn't get touched. We almost did, I thought, but we didn't. I'm, I'm listening because I heard a, I also heard a female zombie moan so I just want to see outside if I can don't see anything all right we need to get our character in bed sleep Yes. Man. What freaking disaster that was. Whew. That was a, a need of a coffee. And we're still... It's still um, nighttime. Early morning, mostly. So let's go ahead and speed up some time. Yeah, it's daytime now. Good, good. Uh, let's do a quick search outside to make sure there's nothing... Uh, yep, knew it. Probably the, the zombie we heard the uh, last night. So let's go ahead and push her to the ground. Just take her out. Don't waste our knife. Good. Man, we really need to get some exploration done. But it is making it very, very, very difficult for us. These guys are still well watered. I can't actually get rid of this. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah, all right. I think we're good, and uh, we're about at the 20-minute mark, and the next thing I want to do is go back into town, so that's going to be a kind of an excursion. So we'll have to wrap up this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, let me know in the comment section below by hitting the like button. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.